Hi, welcome, Simon here, and in this video, I'll be replacing a screen on an MSI gaming laptop. Let's take a look at the model here at the back of the computer. You can identify this model as MS16K2. So this is MSI MS-16K2. All right, so the screen, um, pretty much the backlighting is shorted. Therefore, there's no display on the screen for my case. But if your problem is pixelated or fuzzy screen, or if you crack the screen, then then you definitely need to change the laptop screen. All right, so the first thing I like to do is to make sure the computer is shut down, power off completely. If you want to disconnect the battery, you should do that. It is recommended to do so, but for my case, I decided not to disconnect the battery. I'm just gonna go straight to the screen and get it re repaired, okay? So let me go ahead and get a metal prying tool. What I'm doing right now is separating that adhesive against the screen. So this bezel here is glue or taped down by a double-sided tape. So in order for you to get underneath, you need to have like some kind of a prying tool, a tool that allows you to go ahead and cut the adhesive tape off. As I'm cutting it, you can see some of the tape is coming off. And later on, I will tell you where you can get the adhesive tape, that double-sided tape to re-tape the bezel back together. As well as you need to tape the screen. I don't think the screen is screwed onto it. Everything nowadays is taped onto the, uh, the computer, so therefore you need to have uh, double-sided tape to tape it back on. Alright, so right now I'm just running across that metal prying tool to get in between the bezel and once I have the bezel removed then we can go ahead and replace the screen. So here I just want to be point out and be careful that you might expose and see that little gray uh, cable here. This gray cable here is pretty much uh, a cable that directs your webcam. If you have a webcam right on the top here, the webcam here for the microphone and the camera, that cables direct the signal. As I'm going along, I'm cutting off that. And once that is done, we can move on to the next step. So just be patient while you're separating that double-sided tape. It is taped down really hard for my laptop here. So we're just gonna take some time. And when it comes to the uh, the webcam area, okay, when it comes to this webcam uh, position here, you might want to pay as extra careful on the uh, the prying to try not to go ahead and you know try not to cut or damage the uh, uh, what do you call that the uh, the webcam. Okay, I mean they really stick this thing really well, so this is very tough to get it open. It doesn't seem like a tape, it's more like a glue, I think, like a gel that is definitely... Okay, finally I got it all removed. Let's take a look at this double-sided tape here. 
Oh, this tape is really, really, really sticky. Especially when it dries out, the tape is like, it's not, it's not moving at all. You definitely need to cut it. And so what right now I'm doing is to clean off the, uh, clean off the bezel. Okay, so that's what I'm doing is to peel some of the, uh, the leftover tape here. When I put a new tape on, it should be sitting flush to the screen rather than, um, I'm not sure if this was actually repaired by someone before or this is the original, original um, tape from MSI. But anyway, come back and clean it off so that when you put the new tape, it should be sitting flush and nice. Okay, for me, I think that should be okay for now. Let's move on to the next step. Uh, double check your cable, making sure when you, uh, making sure that earlier when I cut it, I did not break any of the, uh, the wire. Okay, so double check the wire, making sure they are not cut and they're in, still in a position. All right, next step, I'm wrong, okay? So what I mean by by that is, remember I said that the screen might have been taped down using a double-sided tape? It is not the case, it's actually a screw. So there is a Phillips screw here on the do uh, bottom, bottom right, and I'm removing the second screw at the bottom left. Let's do it on the top right. And top left. Once you have removed all the four screws, the screen should come right off of it. Okay, so the screen is coming off and I'm tilting it down towards my body and be very careful with this. There's a tape that is still taping down the screen. Okay, so we need to peel the tape off of the screen be very careful do not break the cable and then you want to slide the connector away from your body so slide it away to that direction and the screen will just come right off if you're not sure where to find the screen go go ahead and check out the link down description below i'll link it down or look up for this model here that says n156 hge dash e a l r e v dot c one all right so that is the uh, screen and uh, i'll link it down in the description below for you guys either to ebay or amazon we can find a replacement screen directly okay okay so here comes the new screen And what you want to do is to slide the connector back. So slide it back in. Make sure you slide it all the way in and use the tape to give you a level leverage to pull and tug the cable. Make sure it's firm, secure, tuck it in and that should do it. And flip the screen back sitting up straight up okay and then making sure that the wire okay have enough room to go hiding in between the screen like such so right now it's just pretty much cable management making sure they all have enough space sitting flush not sticking out where the bezel has to go back in after all right that looks good to me i have my screwdriver here install the four screws
two on the top and two at the bottom. Okay, once I have the screws installed, the next step is to get this double-sided tape here. Uh, I'll be using a five millimeter, the five mm. This is the double-sided tape. Let's go ahead and tape it down. So they're all different sizes. They have like 2 mm, 3 mm, 5 mm. I'll be using the 5 mm. If it's not thick enough, you can just double up the tape to make it like 10 millimeter. So mm stands for millimeter. That is the, the whiteness of the, um, uh, the tape. Okay, so all that of course you might want to come and do a most cleanup on the uh, the bezel I'm just letting it slide letting it go at this moment I'm not really cleaning that much on this process but if it doesn't work I'll come back and clean most of it but just because of making the video here, I do not want to spend the time cleaning the whole thing. And you guys are not able to watch it and follow along. So cleaning wise, I'll let you guys do it. But for now, I'm just going to get straight to the point and get the replacement done. Okay, that is done. I am going to align here at the bottom, making sure that the bezel is tucked underneath that hinge. Okay, press it down, but before you close everything, making sure that you remove and peel that film on your new screen. Okay. And then make sure that the webcam is aligned with that. Kind of just press it down and you can feel like the tape is taping it down. And I'm using my back hand here in the back holding the screen while I'm pressing down the bottom part of it. Okay. I do feel like the screen is taped pretty tight here on the top. Okay, and on the side, I can feel there's not much of a gap. So the double-sided tape is working very nicely. And that should be it. I'm just trying to turn on the computer. I do see the screen. Looks like the battery is... Uh, actually, it's not. The screen is really dim. Anyway, uh, I need to further diagnose my problem here, but the screen, this is how you do it. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.